Hello everyone, I'm Extra Cheesy 87 and this is Let's Play Dark Souls Randomized Part 13. In the previous video, we uh, did quite a lot actually, and by quite a lot we did two things that were important. We beat Manus after more difficulty than we really should have had, and we beat Artorius on the first real try. Technically it was the second time we fought him because... We wandered into his boss fight very early on in like the second video and we weren't quite prepared. This time, there's basically, there's there's three things we can do. We can do the DLC, we can do the catacombs, and we can do the demon ruins. I did end up breaking down and looking up where Artorius' ring is because I've been very worried by the fact that we haven't yet found it. We have not missed it, it's in the catacombs. So we don't, so we can't do the four kings before the catacombs. I kind of want to do the catacombs last because it's potentially the hardest thing we have left in the game. Or it, it is going to, well, I think the DLC could maybe be, because I think there's like an optional fight that I completely had forgotten about until just like a couple days ago. Where after, where you fight the sanctuary guardian, I think after you beat Manus... It spawns in two Sanctuary Guardians, which are replaced with different bosses. So essentially, we have another chance at, at the Ornstein and Smo fight. I'd kind of completely forgotten that was a thing. Um, I don't think I've ever actually done Because I didn't do the DLC in my first randomizer. I don't think I ever got the pendant and didn't bother to uh, go look for it. But I think we're going to do the Demon Ruins. Just because it's the easiest thing we have left. So I figured we may as well go ahead and do it now. And then next we'll probably do the DLC, then the Catacombs, then the Four Kings. Do the Four Kings, I don't really remember how the Four Kings work. Well, so we should rest back here and get our Estus. I'm trying to think, do I want to use the Big Bopper? I don't really, I mean, I like it for boss fights, but for everything else, really the... The... the the mid-sized bopper, I think, is better, and it lets us wear the, the shield and everything. Granted, I mean, really, we have a bunch of other weapons that are better than it now. Like, really, if we were smart, we would just upgrade, like, the, the Black Knight Great Axe. But I'm pretty sure I used that weapon in my last playthrough. I mean, what all do we have? Yeah, we have the Demon Great Machete, but we can't upgrade it is the problem, because we, we still don't have the... Uh, the medium ember? We can rest here. It won't override our uh, thing of Moetzers. Estus. What do you what do you do here? You just you just keep going straight down, okay. I guess we're not we're not gonna do the, the shortcut. Well, I mean we could do it to rescue Artorius, but there's no real... What the hell? Oh, I didn't even realize that was freaking... It was like four maggots in one. Um, like we could rescue our Taurus, but I don't think you get an item out of it, so there's not really any point. Huh. Maybe you do get an item. What we got over here? We got a, a big tree. The, f the famous tree of the demon ruins. It's got anti-flame technology, dude. I guess we can go explore over here and hope I don't die. Thankfully, we have a lot of HP, so maybe the, the lava won't completely destroy us. Granted, we also have no armor, so we have no fire resistance, so we, we might die very fast in the lava. I mean, typically you die very fast regardless. Is that one of those wear thingies? I can't remember. Are you supposed to jump or just run through the lava? Now let's find out. Okay. Oh, God. We, like, slipped. We, we, we made it, and then we hadn't made it anymore. Gonna, gonna have to hit you with a bit of a debate there. 
I don't fully agree that I should have died. Now I'm like paranoid about trying to get that item because are we supposed to jump? It is. It's like a bunch of maggots in one. Oh my god, that noise. I, I should not even be fighting these things because what if they jump on my head? I'm trying to... What does it even do when you get like a maggot infested? I can't remember if it like messes with your stats or something. I don't think it's like being cursed. Also, it being completely quiet here is kind of eerie. I don't even know if that item is worth it, man. I really don't want to die trying to get it again. I can't remember. Can we backstab you? I think we can. I just didn't roll. I just did not hit the button at all. I guess we'll get this item first. Uh, I mean, I know you're not going to do anything, but you still scare me. I suppose we'll get the... Souls back. God, that noise is terrifying. Do I have to jump? I honestly, you know what? No, you're not getting me again. There's only one item we need in the game, which is Artorius's ring, and I know that's in the catacombs. So that's also gonna kill me. You know what? Nah, um, we're just gonna make progress. Gonna leave this totally normal tree alone. It's not worth spending the extra two minutes to run back here if we die again. What's well, probably just gonna be like a soul. Or a piece of armor that I don't want. So I'm really the only thing I would... I wouldn't mind getting the lower undead berg key. Just because I, would, I wouldn't mind checking out the capra demon. Hell, oh, I didn't even see you over there, dude. He's got camouflage. He's got rock-colored camouflage. But yeah, like, checking out what the... Because the Capra Demon fight, depending on what you get, I mean, I think only a limited number of bosses can spawn. Like, mainly your, like, your humanoid stuff. Like, I mean, Capra Demon can fit. I know Gwyn can fit, because I've seen Gwyn spawn in there. Not in my playthrough. I don't think I ever got the un lower undead bird key, but I've watched a few randomizers, and I've seen Gwyn spawn there. Um... Probably Artorius could spawn. Like, just, just stop, okay? Get some help. Don't you don't have to be like this. We can be friends. Uh, the Balder's a little. I don't want to get engaged fighting the big boy. Then the Balder come in and fuck me. Is there, like, not supposed to be any music at all here? I mean, the sound is obviously working. What, what do you... How do you do? Okay. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll take some, some caution. Like I said, take some caution. I mean, we still got a little micro heal. There not being any music at all is like kind of throwing me off. Is that just the way the demon ruins work? Or is the game bugged out? I mean, I don't think I've played through this area with sound since... There we go. There's not really music, but there's at least, you know, sound effects. And ambiance. Sir. Oh my god, just fucking die. Everyone's just being big assholes. Also, oh, are we already at the end? Of the demon room? Well, not really the end of the demon rooms, but the end of the first section? We just dropped down here? No, 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 there's a... I hear you, doggy. 
upstairs. Okay, it's a little, little fire doggo. One of the more annoying ones, just because their hitbox is so tiny. Something, isn't there like something that pops up? Up the side? No. Maybe. Who knows? I'm trying to think, what bosses haven't we fought yet? Because I think the randomizer, or there's a setting that I believe is like the default setting, so it should still be turned on. A setting that prioritizes, like tries to make sure every boss at least shows up once. Now I think you're always going to have some duplicates just because there's more bosses in the randomizer. Because like enemies that you wouldn't normally consider bosses, like the Anorlando, uh Gargles, for instance, the Hydra, those count as boss enemies in the game. So the randomizer replaces them with bosses, which means that there's essentially more bosses than, uh... I mean, we can kindle this. There's no reason not to, and plus we have one humanity already, so... May as well. But needing to reverse hollowing and then kindle is always weird to me. It's kind of like... It just adds a little bit of extra, um... Stuff to every time. Like, I've never really gotten the point of, uh... Needing to do that. Go away. Be gone. Foul creature. Now we got Big Bone Lord, a rat. Like, just go away. No one likes you. You have no friends. Same with you, Mr. Maggot. Oh my god, I can't hit him because of the freaking angle, dude. The angle of the dangle is destroying me. I mean, you probably shouldn't even worry about you, but... We got a big night boy. Big bone lord, a DLC mage. The DLC mage being there kind of sucks. He beat me, dude. He's faster. We're gonna fight. Where are you? Are you a stone knight? Okay, you're a stone knight. You're not actually that strong. Okay. I didn't know you were that weak. I mean, you do fight these guys pretty early on, so. Ah, big humanity ghost. What's even over here? I guess there's an item or something? Sir, like... You're, you're not alive. I mean, you're not even, like, trying to attack me, which is, like, what's annoying. But I can't let you live, because what if you try and attack me? Ah! <sighs> Sometimes your reflexes try and get you into trouble. I have no qualms about killing you, Mr. De Defenseless Rat. Ah! Just, uh, you know, get more getting jump scared by enemies that are not scary in the slightest. Beatrice is a catalyst? Who in the hell is Beatrice? A catalyst belonging to Beatrice, the rogue witch. Contrast with the Venheim Catalyst, this ancient catalyst shows signs of being used for age-old sorceries. Hello? Well, you know, she dead now. That's all that matters. Okay, there is an item up there. I guess we could go get it. Before I completely forget. Well... 
Don't shoot magic laser beams at me, please. Thank you. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Don't fall off. Moonlight waste cloth? I do love me a moonlight waste cloth. Yep, that's a waste cloth. So what's the what's the deets on this? The power of the moon was strong on Gwendolyn, and thus he was raised as a daughter. His magic garb is silk thin and hardly provides any physical defense, so. I mean it looks kinda cool. Okay, I see the rat and the snake. We gotta try and make it in. In theory, I would like to spawn the rat and the snake first. Oh god, I didn't think you'd be able to hit me. Honestly, I just straight up didn't think you would be able to hit me. I just didn't hit the button, dude. My brain said hit the B button, and then it was like, yeah, message received, I do it. I know what I'm doing, you don't have to remind me. And then, it forgot. Mushroom man, the mushroom man, everybody loves the mushroom man. Um, forgot they do that. It's like a bird, apparently. A bird cry. I believe that's the that's the official lore on the mushroom sound. Let's go ahead and equip our boss killer. Um, where is it? Oh, it's right below. I knew it was near the the other weapon, but can we put any armor on? No, none whatsoever. Is this, this is, is this demon fire sage or is this, uh, demon centipede? This is demon fire sage, right? Who is? Calamy! This area seems a little small for you. Calamy, you can't even touch the ground, girly. Okay, there we go. I was like, I don't even know how that's going to... I've already taken my lumps against Calamine. I refuse to... Okay. I mean, you certainly can't do your most annoying stuff. Like, you, you obviously can't fly in here, so... And I was right that Calamine does normally have, like, flying moves that... Apparently it is a he. I guess just the name Calamine sounds a little feminine to me. I don't really know why. Just, uh... Just sip on some sauce to make sure. It seems like staying underneath like gives you. Cause really, that's the only attack that I was a little scared of. Is the a uh, the spinny spin fun time attack? Okay. Okay. One more. One more medium bop, and we're done. Like I said. One more, two more medium bops, and we're done. Yeah, so the Calamine fights in the randomizer are actually pretty easy, just because they don't spawn normally. But they can't use any of their, their big annoying moves. Because there is a, there's a fly, I think I looked it up on the, the wiki afterwards to, like, what other attacks Calamine has. And there's like the one where it uh they they teleport you in the air and everything and um something else. They have that big super fire attack. That's kind of like what the ancient dragon does in Dark Souls 2. I mean, granted, obviously this game came first, but that's the that's the closest thing I can think of. And the main reason. Oh my God! Just just stop, sir. 
It's like these things are just an HP tax. Because like every time, like mid swing, you get hit. Okay. Like, where's the Bonnie, dude? Are you kidding me? Is the body down? I thought it was up. I mean, I would assume it's not down, because I mean, that's where we're supposed to go, but I thought the bonfire was just, like, right up here. Dude, I'm getting bodied. Are you kidding me, man? That, that that didn't didn't even begin to phase you, eh? Like you just hit me with the largest rock mankind has ever created. I'm not phased. My God. Reason I don't use this piece of shit normally. I don't even know why I'm still have this thing equipped. Like, don't ever talk to me again. Okay. Also, how much hard drive space do I have? I just remembered I, ran, I, I rendered out some videos last night. I have no mouse pointer. There we go. Um, okay, we, we have we have twenty eight gigs. That's enough for this video. Because these these Dark Souls videos like take up a ton of space. I mean, the raw recordings are a lot, and then the rendered are even more because of, um. If you don't render them out at 1440p, they look like garbage when they go up to YouTube. Is this not where the bond... I mean, I, I very rarely actually do this path. And this is the way we came. I know there's a bonfire here, right? Am I crazy? Uh, Don't kill me, please. Play log. Oh, that's how that works. I knew that. We probably will kill you for your item, but not just yet. Can't go wrong with more strength, I suppose. I mean, endurance. Well, we'll split it just because uh, maybe being able to wear like a piece of armor with Hobble's weapon could be nice. Potentially. Possibly. Who knows? A nice even 24 souls remaining. That's good. Didn't even have to do soul micromanagement. Ah, uh, no, I didn't. The classic. Just gives us an extra few minutes to contemplate what the hell we're supposed to do here. Man, think of how much time you could have saved. You could have figured this thing out earlier. Granted, I can't remember. Is the, the elevator's not there at all, right? So that's the way we came. You can go down here. What is this? Is it like collapse on me or something? No. Guess we want to go this way and just... Can't really run past everything because there's dogs. It's just like an HP tax. See ya. Where's the butcher? Oh yeah, the butcher doesn't like they do respawn and they also don't. It's really weird. I mean something's making noise, but I don't know what it is. Like you just take damage, you little fuckboy. I can't lock onto you, and I'm a little worried about my uh, attack missing because of it. Okay, there we go. Do you? Let's. Th I, I don't remember how the Demon Centipede boss fight works. Like, do they just die instantly? I mean, I would kind of assume so. Also, slugs don't have fall damage, apparently. 
Oh my god! Why are you attacking? I mean, I know why you're attacking. It's because I put an attack input in the second we got hit. So it saves it, which is one of the more annoying things about these games. It's like, even though I was hitting B, it uh, was like, ah, oh, but you hit the attack button first. I'm like, yeah, but like, come on, you can just drop that input. Nah, we can never drop an input. That would be bad control design. It's like, there's a freaking bonfire here? Why, why does that shortcut need to exist? I mean, it has the benefit of that one's pre-kindled, but... Maybe that's if you come through the shortcut? I don't remember. No, because the shortcut, you come down through the bottom. Or no, the shortcut takes you past all this completely. You don't have to do the Demon Centipede at all with it. Oh, is this Solaire? Glorious sun indeed. Sorry, Solaire, you're uh, not going to be living much longer. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we got and see whether they died of the lava or not. Man, that sounded like wings. I mean, I could see that's that's Seath. That's Seath, dude. Um, that's assuming the lava. If the lava does damage, that's good because he should just start dying instantly. Okay, he's he's dead. He's completely toasted. Okay. Um, me. I was hoping we had like a sit down. Do we have a sit down? Nah, we don't have a sit down gesture. Yeah, we don't get the lava ring automatically. I didn't think about that. Um, we at least get to the bonfire. I kind of forgot that you need that. I actually I can't remember. Can you make it through here without the lava ring? I think you need it for Lost Isolith. I don't know if there's a way to. Maybe with the shortcut. Um. I forgot about that. All the little dragon butts. Ah. Um, yeah, infinite souls. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Uh-huh. Why? After all... Why? I don't remember, like... You, like come back don't you attack us or something i'm pretty sure you go hostile but that's for someone else to worry about get up to 32 just because it gives us a nice round 1500 i'm not gonna bop you though you don't yet deserve to be sent to horny jail so how much damage does this do it it, it hurt it hurt it hurt I don't think we can make it through here without the ring. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I kind of completely forgotten about that. I mean, we can try it. Ain't even fucking close. Okay. So we need to get that ring as well. Thankfully, we can just still just teleport to the other place so it's not like a big deal so really the only thing we can do right now is the catacombs and the dlc let's go start the dlc for i don't know five to ten minutes i was tired of being a human anyway for the sake of moving the let's play along i probably will look up where the lava ring is as well I don't know. 
But I don't really remember this area. Oh god, a six-side channeler? That's a little scary. Um... That is a... a little bit... on the scary side. I'm not afraid of you. I'm trying... can you just like run straight through all this shit? And get to... our Tartor? I'm pretty sure, like, the DLC isn't actually that long, I don't think. You like, kind of rush through it. Yeah, there's the, the shortcut. Maybe, maybe it's, maybe that's what I'm thinking of, is that, oh god, don't do it, just don't do it. Okay. You don't know how to navigate this. You have, you have no clue. You're pathfinding. Why is it so good? Okay, is he, I don't know what happened to him. Okay, he fell. This guy, don't see him and I also don't have any souls, which terrifies me. Not gonna lie, I thought those flowers were enemies. Uh, some, some. How oh, low they shooting? They shooting. Another. Oh my God! There's so many channelers. Okay, this is hell. Just uh, may as well get the item. Yes, my red tight knight chunk. A bone wheel? Bone wheel. Okay, give us the, give him the jukes to the trees. Jukes to the trees. Jukes to the trees. Um, I accept my fate. I'm not giving you the satisfaction of murdering me, Mr. Butcher. I'd rather die at my own hand. What? Um, this doesn't seem to be the DLC. Now let's uh, actually rest at this bonfire. Really, that one's not pre-kindled? Kind of surprising. So where do I actually go? I have, I have no clue. And we went right, let's try left this time. We can make it past the freaking artillery bombardment. That is the necromancer lords and not the ne well not the necromancers, the What do you call them? Fireball enemies? I mean they kinda work similar to No oh, come on man. I mean they work similar-ish to necromancers. And then we got a stone lord. Is this where we died? This is where we died. <laughs> I have retained my thousand souls. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Ah, there we go. I didn't even see this bridge over here. What? Calamite. Buddy. Buddy. That didn't really remember that. I'm still running. Boy. Running his running his butt off. Taking a taking a sip of the sauce, keep moving. It's a marathon, dude. It's a marathon. Just uh I don't know if we can do that. Okay. We're getting there. There's an, an actual DLC enemy. Pretty sure those things are DLC enemies. I can't think of where they would be normally, so they've got to be DLC enemies. Leggings of Artorias. Okay, we got some got some Crystal Lords. Necroman. Uh, something else. Keep running. Just keep running. There ain't nothing that says you can't keep running. 
Okay, so this is the actual boss fight. Uh, and that's your, uh... Shortcut. Are you an enemy? Um... I, I do vaguely remember you. Hmm. Ah, let me guess. He does have by a shadowy limb and dragged off to the pub. Dude set from the beginning of the game. How do you answer? Nah. Oh well, my mistake. But this is like the face of a man who could be snatched by a shadowy limb. Don't really need any of this. Demon type night. That's actually pretty good. I'm a little worried that you might run away. I mean, but we're actually, do we have any ball soul Go weapons? Along. Not really. We need Twinkling Titanite more than anything. We can look for this item. Granted, we probably wouldn't need Twinkling Titanite as much if I didn't uh, run through all the areas. Granted, I mean, you saw that, that hell hole back. What the fuck? Um, you saw that shit. Enemies were so so keen to get us, they're killing themselves. I can't be trusted. I mean, granted, we probably... I mean, we may as well activate the shortcut preemptively. Just in case it ends up being something hard. I mean, really, the only boss that I fear now is Manus. I don't want to fight Manus again. That's the only thing I ask of you, game. Um, I mean, that kind of looks like a jaw. Can't tell. Not quite aware of what boss you are. You're not Calibate again, are you? I don't think so. Uh, I see a jaw. Is that gaping? It's not gaping, Drag. Is that? I think it's. Is that Calibate again? Ah, it's Quaylog. Ah, oh, okay. Well. I mean, that was like the world's worst dodge, and we still didn't get hit. Quaylog, I'm sorry, but you're just not a real boss fight. God. Uh. <laughs> like, just, just please let me hit you. Bonk. Go to horny jail. Clothes were invented for a reason. Even spider demon ladies need to wear them. The gazebo? Like the PvP thing, I think. What you got for me, uh, isn't the giant man over this way? I hear him, but I do not see him. Oh, we have the key. I didn't know you needed the key to get here, but that's what the crest key is for. I was going to say, I didn't remember that item, but I guess that's why. It's a DLC boy. A visitor, have we? Thou must be the one who freed Artorias. At all yeah, something like that. He was. Thanks to thee... He left this world with honor intact, and here I am, retired and blind. A little help to thee, I'm afraid. Kind of a bit of a ripoff on the Homeward Bones. I'll buy some Titanite shards. Okay, well, we I mean, may as well. What else are we using our souls for? We're kind of at the point where levels don't do anything. I'll take the Crimson Waste Cloth. Have 
God seeketh to explore this domain, be wary of a black dragon. Uh, Calamite can't hurt me anymore. Match for this terrible beast. Hmm. There's very little to be said. What good is a dog with no hands to hunt? But I'm lucky to be alive, I suppose. Hmm. What good is but I'm... I don't know. I know you like. You have to get this dude to shoot down Calamite so you can fight them. But. Maybe you have to do something. Maybe you have to progress in the DLC and then come back and do this. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure you can do it, but you don't have to beat Manus or anything. I don't think. And I've only done it the one time. Let's uh, let's not do that. Uh, that didn't seem like a good idea. I just want to get to a bot. Actually, you know what? We'll stop here. We'll get back down to. You know, I think the bonfire is just right over this way, so. Can you give me an item if I go in here? Yes. The demon spear. Battle of Stoicism Gazebo. Not really, uh. Not really our place. Ah, oh, there's the Bonnie. What's the demon spear? This weapon, uh, the weapon of these chaos demons, Wander and Anorlando, are different. Oh, they're called chaos demons. I do like how the impact is on the floor next to our feet. That's kind of cool. I never really use spears in Dark Souls. I usually mostly use like one-handed swords. Um. I like the, the scythe in Dark Souls 3. It has a fun moveset. The the Corv I think it's called the Corvian Scythe. I've never used the, the Great Scythe or Priscilla Scythe in this game. If we had gotten them, I would have probably given them a shot. But unfortunately, we only got a variety of different uh horny boppers. Okie dokie, that's going to be it for this video, and next time we will, I'll probably just go ahead and look up where the lava ring is, just out of, just for the sake of, like, saving time. I don't really want to spend, like, this was intended to be a pretty casual let's play, just to kind of fill time while I was waiting for the other stuff, well, waiting for Trails of Zer to come out, or the translation patch, I should say, but... Yeah, I'm Extra Cheesy 87. Stay tuned for the next part. And bye, guys.